forth given your instructions. Protect your sack at all times. Touch gloves. Clear it out. Clear out. Donald Grady awarded advice about intimidation. Yeah, he said even if you can't be about hitting or getting hit, get in there, box, and move. Walk around a fighter like Mike Tyson. Don't be intimidated. And here we go, and Mathis just falling down, not being struck by Tyson, who himself missed on a left uppercut to begin things here. He ran right at Mike Tyson, much like Peter McNeely did, which he thought was interesting. He said Mike didn't handle pressure too well. Well, this is interesting because that's like the lamb walking to the slaughter. He ran to the slaughter. Well, he was surprised that Peter McNeely was able to back up on Mike Tyson, and that's what he's trying to do. Put him back on his heels. A fighter doesn't have as much power about his stopping a foreman. He said he was a good slipper. So far, he's lived up to it. Mike was a situation. But you know, in those punches of that Peter McNeely fight, he missed many times, like he's done the Let first part of this Let round. Let him go. Let him go, Mike. Well, by pinning Tyson against the ropes, he almost guarantees he'll last the round, especially with those 224 pounds. Tyson connects right there, and, and Mathis comes back with the right upper. Jumping in, jumping out, pressing Mike, staying inside. We'll see what happens when he gets hit, though. Body punches, there's a shot by Mike Tyson with the left. Get off his well, Buster get said, off. I have to get his respect uh, early, so I'm at. And he has done a nice job of slipping on the inside, Buster has. He said that was the most underrated part of this game, the slipping. Yes, did get hit, but tonight he's doing a good job slipping. Tyson missing again with the left uppercut. Tyson really trying to swing from right, break. Stop the third punching. row. Step back, Buster. Inside of Philadelphia Spectrum, we are through with round one, and Buster Mathis has lasted. Tyson is not sharp. Look at all these misses from him on the inside. Buster Mathis, there is a miss. Strike one, strike two. Buster Mathis doing a good job of rolling on that big belly that he has to try to avoid punches. Here comes Tyson now, connecting with the left jab and coming with the right, and again, he is carded by Mathis. You notice that Mike this time, instead of coming out throwing hooks, come on, come on, which Buster can get under, came out jamming, setting up the jab. Even go, a short man go, can be effective with the jab. Mathis picked up this movement, that slipping we talked about before, and again Tyson coming and missing again with the left hook. But swinging with a lot Your of power. Step back. Let him go, swinging. Says that he is physically stronger now. Ah, oh, come on. low blow from Buster Mathis. Up, Mathis had to do something to take away that barrage from Mike Tyson. All right, break. Stop this. And Tyson going up against a guy almost shorter. Well, you know, that's a funny thing because I used to tell people, listen, if I ever go up to headway and I fought Mike, I'd get underneath Mike. He'd have to punch down at me, which is something he's not only not used to, but not as good at. And you're going to see some quick combinations by Mathis. He has done that, and he is halfway through round two. You know, as we spoke about before, the jury's still out until he fights a top contender. Well, some of his detractors may say, wow, Buster Mathis man uh, handled him at point. Tyson misses again with the left. From the south stand. The left. And he comes with the right. And Mathis comes back, game kid. Buster Mathis loves the uppercuts. You turn your palm in and throw that uppercut, both of them trading them. Counter punch, and there's a body blow. Thrown with the heavy right by Mike Tyson. Mathis says he has more power than the right hand. Oh, he'll feel every punch tomorrow. Oh, and there is a nice right uppercut. And then Tyson counters himself. Now it's changing blows. Mike is still missing a lot of big shots. Big clean shots that the big tall guys used to be able to. Tyson again missing with the left. Underneath. Go to the third round, non-stop action in this battle between two big heavyweights, and I'm surprised that Buster Mathis Jr. has lasted into the third round against Mike Tyson. I think he's got Mike a little mad now. Matt, Mike seems to have a little bit different on, attitude. Get get punch combinations. Behind the jab. Whoa. Tyson missing twice with the right. Oh, and Mathis felt that right there, and again he plows into Tyson in the ropes. Tyson said, no matter what happens tonight, trust me, I'm going to give you something special. Mathis has been crowded. Mathis has been slipping punches. Mathis has been ducking. And it's caused Tyson to miss numerous times. Oh, you can hear him, too. And a miss by Tyson. Mike's loading up a little too much. 
Buster can see some of them coming. He's getting out of the way of most of them. All right, break. I want your spoke to break. Frank Cappuccino. Oh, Tyson Crane with the right uppercut right there. See so what Mike's doing? He's stepping now. He's coming in and right, stepping off and firing the uppercut, waiting out. for Buster to Douglas. Get back. Buster Mass right foot and pivot. Swing around on your opponent's side and then crack. Oh, he got a right uppercut. Out of the right uppercut. And down goes Mathis. So he stepped back and did it again. Stepped Five, off and around six, and ripped that uppercut seven, to where Mathis was ducking eight, right into it. Nine, ten. He didn't beat the count. A devastating right uppercut. Two of them by Mike Tyson. And he is knocked down Buster Mathis Jr.